That's right. I got you juicy entertainment news for Monday. Ruby Rose, who plays Catwoman in the CW series, revealed that uh, being allergic to latex played a significant role in her decision to quit the series ahead of season two. Um, it wasn't until she actually had to wear the latex Catwoman costume that she found out that she was allergic to it. Um, and she said it got worse and worse because the more that her body was in contact with the latex, um, the worse her reactions got. She said at the end of filming, whenever she would take her mask off at the end of the day, her face would be covered in hives and her throat would be all messed up. She also sustained some injuries while on set filming for the show uh, last August. She said that taking not enough time off to recover was another reason for her leaving. Um, she had surgery and then 10 days later she went back to work, which she said was probably not the best idea. A lot of people take usually a month to three months off before they return after an injury like that. Um, so that made it more difficult for her. And then, of course, she said also being the lead of a show or a film, regardless of its action or emotional, is extremely taxing. Um, two lawyers from R. Kelly's legal team have withdrawn one month before his trial date. R. Kelly lost two members of his team, lawyers Steve Greenberg and Michael Leonard. They officially withdrew from the case after... R. Kelly hired two new lawyers to represent him. Greenberg and Leonard said it's impossible for them to work alongside the new attorneys. Their reasons for, with, with, for withdrawal are significant, and it's impossible, in their belief, for them to be able to continue to properly represent Mr. Kelly under the current circumstances. They went on to say that ultimately, as trial lawyers, and in the interests of the client, they were not comfortable professionally with allowing lawyers who have never tried federal criminal cases to have significant trial responsibilities and that they felt that the approach was not to everyone's liking. Earlier this month, R. Kelly was denied bail after he argued that he needed to spend more time with his new legal team ahead of his upcoming trial. R. Kelly's trial date is currently set for August 18th in Brooklyn. Um, and power actor Isaiah Strokes has been charged with murder for a shooting in Queens, New York. Uh, Isaiah plays the character Mozzie in Power and was charged with uh, the murder, uh, with murder in the fatal shooting of a Queens, New York man back in February. In addition to being charged with murder and second in the second degree, the a grand jury is hitting him with two counts of criminal possession of a weapon in the second degree. The DA's office alleges that Isaiah Stokes killed 37-year-old Tyrone Jones on February 7th, and here's the scary part. Surveillance footage reportedly shows the actor approaching the car and then firing 11 shots into the victim in the vehicle. Um, in addition to his performance on Power, Isaiah Soaks has been acting and uh, has appeared on episodes in Law & Order, Special Victims Unit. He was also um, on Boardwalk, Boardwalk Empire, The Americans, Blue Bloods, as well as The Mysteries of Laura and others. He faces 25 years to life in prison if he is convicted. And LeBron James has the number one movie now to add to his resume. Um, the Looney Tunes, Space Jam, A New Legacy, earned $13.1 million on Friday at the box office from nearly 4,000 theaters. Um, the opening was a great sign because the film is also available for free on HBO Max. So the fact that folks were still going to the theaters to see this said a lot. Space Jam A New Legacy earned uh, over the weekend in its first three days a total of $31.65 million, which is a new best for Warner Brothers since the start of the pandemic, um, and uh, achieved the top spot, beating out Marvel's newest film, Black Widow. So congratulations to Le Bon, and of course he celebrated by putting up a post, Hi Haters, on social media. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Monday. Locking in again tomorrow for more of the juice right here on the all-new Kiss 96.